We have a new synopsis for Daryl Dixon season two, Book of Carol. And you know what? The girls are fighting this season. So th this new synopsis has started to circulate in the past like 24 hours. So if you're like me, you've been waiting for basically any kind of hint. Supposedly, allegedly, we talked about Comic-Con the other day, and we're supposed to be getting the official trailer for Book of Carol. You know, and Comic-Con is always the place where they give us something, a full trailer, a snippet, who knows, you know, and maybe we'll even get some details about Dead City. Maybe they'll give us like, you know, even maybe they'll give us like a little 20, 20 second teaser for Dead City because we already know that they just officially wrapped filming season two. So they might have enough to kind of throw together like a 20 second trailer of just the the best of, you never know, to go along with the BTS uh, teaser that they posted and gave us like, what, a month ago? Okay, so we all know that season two is all about Daryl stays in France. We got to do something with Laurent on this like zombie filled beach. And the start of it is going to be Carol getting to France. And we've, um, they've already had screeners last month of the first episode so it looks like the first episode is very heavy on carol which is what i expected we want to know how did she get there what is she doing and where is she going and this synopsis says season two picks up with carol back in america so hopefully that means i'm gonna get what i wanted which is seeing carol at the commonwealth leaving so for me i was hoping that we would see commonwealth which means commonwealth means ezekiel and i love ezekiel i always will if you don't like ezekiel honestly that's kind of a red flag for me and there's one part in that little released trailer that we got several months ago carol whispers come with me and i said wouldn't it be crazy if she was whispering to ezekiel when she's leaving commonwealth and i wanted to see commonwealth i think it would just be fun to see it one more time we didn't really get well we didn't get anyone i cared about in the ones who live or a dead city maybe if we hear her whispering, come with me, even though he doesn't go with her, maybe Carol and Ezekiel are back together. I feel like, I mean, if you're not new to the fandom, there are the set of carolers that really want Daryl and Carol to be romantically linked, even though I think most people in the fandom just don't want that. They like them better, better as friends. And it seems like they're still pushing this like really good friendship, the best friend vibes. Like I, it, it feels like they're making it known more than ever that Daryl and Carol are just platonic. In my personal opinion, if you like them romantically, fine. Like, you know, what do I care? Interesting thing is it says that Carol will eventually find herself caught up in the same regional conflicts as Daryl, putting them on opposite sides of the battle for France's future. That is very interesting to hear. Daryl and Carol, they're very popular, very beloved, but I like a little mess. And at the, what was it, the end of season 10 into season 11, we got to see Daryl and Carol kind of fight for a little bit. They were at odds. They didn't spend a lot of time together. And I thought that was kind of like Daryl finally got a backbone, you know, because Daryl, he's like, he's the guy that kind of agrees. He goes along with you. He doesn't really put up a fight to like express his opinion that much. You know, he's the guy that gets stuff done for everybody else. This barn smells like horseshit. And that's very interesting. I will say right off the bat, I don't think this is going to be a like enemies type thing. There's two things I could see this opposing side storyline going. One, I think that Carol unknowingly got um, on the wrong side of things, right? Because right above this, it says she's forced to confront old trauma. She enlists a new ally under false pretenses to help her. And we all know Carol's going to do one thing. It's going to lie to get what she needs to do. And that sounds bad, but like it's, it's a known character trait of Carol. She's a little bit manipulative. She like twists things to get what she needs to do. And I don't doubt that this man that we've seen in the previous teasers is the man that they're probably talking about. So I can see her joining with this man. Is this guy going to be in America and he gets her to France or is this somebody that she meets when she gets to France? All we know is that she has a crossbow and she meets this guy. We don't know what continent she meets him in. So maybe he could be part of this, like the side that is pro-Jeanette and all of these experiments and the uprising of France, all this stuff. 
I could also see her doing sort of like a double agent thing where she has to go on to the opposing team, Jeanette's team, maybe to get a little information from people. So I could see both ways. I definitely don't think it's a like Daryl's going to hate Carol by the end of the season type of thing, right? Obviously, Daryl is going to be team Fran's family with like the nest, right? Like because he's already fought Jeanette once. You know, he's got his own personal vendetta. Like he, she's been going after Laurent this whole entire time. Already kidnapped Isabel. In the two minute uh, preview that he's already like shot at Jeanette's truck, flipped it over. So this makes me more interested. I know we've had some um, other synopsis that said that there's going to be tension at the nest. It kind of alludes to that Carol is going to be that thing that forces tension at the nest. So by the nest, do they mean like Isabel and Laurent? Do they mean by like the rest of like Falou's group? We don't know yet. We'll have to see. If you want to catch up on all of the gossip on season two for Daryl Dixon, Book of Carol, I have a whole playlist here. Well, I ha I'll have this video and many others, the trailers, pretty much anything I've talked about season two will be in this playlist. Uh, I've got a Patreon if you want some extra content. I've got more stuff coming out, movie reviews, like and subscribe, all the things. I'll see you very soon with more.